What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a short haircut, basically a pixie haircut, but we're gonna do like a curtain fringe disconnection in the front. This is a great haircut. Uh, not a basic haircut because there's some advanced uh, little things about it like disconnection but a lot of basic things in it as well so it doesn't matter the skill level that you have you're going to get a lot from this haircut. A uh, tool of choice today is going to be the Evo Razor Pro by Free Salon Education. If you're looking for a new razor check out our online store freesaloneducation.com or shopfse.com uh, you can see the new Evo Razor. This is um, made from a zinc alloy, so it's a metal uh, razor. It uses standard feather razor blades. We have our own blade that you can purchase, or if you already have feather blades laying around, you can use that. It's got a really nice feel to it, a nice balance to it. The grip is nice right here if you wanna get nice and tight, but then you also can hold it like a scissor and it fits perfectly in your hand. We designed it to uh, kind of go with the finger placement on a razor. So I like using it. This is a custom design for us. So we have it in this shiny purple or this kind of uh, gunmetal uh, gray. Here, I'm gonna show you right away the benefit of cutting with a razor, especially on short hair. So I scoop up underneath this section, right? And then what I wanna do is I wanna create a nice tight line to the head. So I wanna follow this line with my finger angle. But then as I get to the bottom, I just want to fade it out a little bit and create that fringy look to it. So here, holding it in my fingers, and then I take my Evo razor and I just glide down. But then as I start to work towards the bottom, I go softer with the razor and allow that fringy area just to kind of work through. So I don't push right away, so that'll just cut the hair right off. I just slide it softly over and allow some of that length to build up throughout the haircut and that'll give me that fringy look towards the bottom and then I'll work another diagonal back parting go through and I'm going to bring my previous section up into it so I can see the guide through it and then I'll just start working and sliding that razor through and then again real soft on the end of the section just like that and that'll give me a little more of a fringy look. Still bringing my previous section over. And now I'll take this into two. And I'm going to work a little harder on this line because I really want it to start following the head shape around this corner. And then as I get towards the bottom of this section, then I'll allow it to fade out a little bit and create that fringy look. So I have now rounded the corner. So now I go soft on the razor again and just allow a nice little soft edge to happen in the bottom. So you can already see how that flows backwards. It's a little bit longer towards the sides. That is an innovative shape on that razor. I like it. Thanks, Mike Dog. Lori. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty sweet. Um, Feels really good when you're cutting. We designed it to kind of feel like a scissor. I like the weight of a scissor. Um, I like to palm my scissor as I cut and comb everything. So this is easy to palm and then just bring it back around or palm and then bring it back this way. But it has a scissor feel. We also put kind of a shorter tang, which our finger rest, which I like on a scissor and all my scissors are designed that way. The hybrid here, you can see it's got a shorter tang. That's something I just always love. I like the feel and I like to palm and so that keeps the tang or the finger rest out of the way um, as you're cutting. All right, so I'm always gonna be scooping up underneath right now because I want to remove a little bit of weight. I'm not trying to build weight. If I was trying to build weight in this section, I'd comb it down towards the bottom and cut it. But because I wanna lift it and add a little bit more layered effect, I want to bring it up from where it lives to get a higher elevation. The higher the elevation, the more layering you get out of your section. Remember, round the corner. So I'm rounding the corner. I'm not really fading yet. And then when I start to get towards the bottom, around that occipital bone area, then I go real soft, a little more artistic, creative freedom towards the bottom. You'll notice that I'm kind of in and out with it because... The more in and out movement you have, the softer the line is going to be. That's the benefit 
of using a razor over a scissor. If I cut a blunt line here, you're going to see every bit of weight coming through. Now that is beneficial in some haircuts. So I'm not saying use a razor for every haircut. But if you want something that's going to lay nice and soft with a bunch of texture uh, on short hair, then you're doing yourself a favor by using a razor tool. Also probably notice that I'm using the wide teeth of the comb um, because I don't need to pull a ton of attention. Got this new weeder comb too. So pretty sweet. Another wide tooth comb if you like a little bit longer comb. Up to here, rounding the corner. We want to build up a little bit of weight in this area though. I don't want to collapse all of this because then it makes the back of the head look flat. We want to have a little bit of build up of weight in there. So the way that I'm going to do that is instead of now combing up like I was before, now I want to comb everything towards the section just to build up a little bit of weight. When you comb it towards, you're going to get less elevation. So you can see my hand is kind of more down and a downward motion that builds up more weight. The upward motion like this takes away the weight because it's layering it. So coming in here, And now we're going to start building a weight line. And so I don't bore you guys, we're going to get a little more salon pace here. You can see already starting to build up, gets a little more collapsed and sleeker in the bottom. And that's all about that shape here. Make my way around the head. I'm not actually going to because I want to accentuate this shape a little bit. I'm going to go straight down the center here, separate left and right. And I worked diagonal back. So what would cross checking be, right? It would be diagonal forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take just a couple diagonal forward sections and I'm just going to slide the razor in and leave some of that length towards the bottom. So that'll just shift my shape just a little bit right here in the occipital bone, low crown area, and keep that fringy towards the bottom. I'm not gonna go all the way through this section because um, right now I'm actually losing that. But I just want a little bit just to remove some of that weight in there. Let's mimic it, let's do the same thing on the opposite side, biggest difference here is going to be hand positioning because now my hand is pointing down towards the floor. Create that line and then fade. So again, up. Yeah, that's way better. Soft, now it'll be even softer. Turn. Yeah, it looks nice. Working my way back, going a little more salon pace now, scooping underneath, keeping that elevation high. Slide out. Same thing here, scooping underneath. Soft on the release. This can really give you that unique look as you come through it. Now, working my way around this corner, I want to start to build up the weight a little bit. But remember, follow the corner to remove this underneath weight and then drop it out. Drop in that elevation. And I'm going to come around and do my cross checking and cutting as well. So again, remember we cut everything diagonal back. So we're going to work diagonal forward. So a little diagonal forward here. Again, but just the tiniest bit, you're really just dusting. creating a little more push into that shape.
not much there. Yeah, I think. So in these little fringy areas here, again, I'm not pushing hard. Just softening these little areas, pinching it in my hands, just to take out some weight. Because if it's too thick in the bottom, it's going to look silly. If it has a nice softness to it, it looks a little more purposefully done. So, there's that. Even around the ear a little bit. And in that. Look at that. See how easy that is? Let's work these top triangles. I want to grab this first triangle. And I'm going to cut everything from this point as my guideline. I'm going to cut it at a slight angle. Because I want to create a little bit more length. But I'm going to do this all in one section, condensed. Here, my guide, it's like that. People are already yelling at me because of my black shirt. Here. I want to work. I don't want this to be too long. So shift this angle a little bit. So this angle, watch my finger. Don't watch the hair. The hair will be a little dark. So look at, I'll put my elbow there too so you can see. So that angle is here to here. This. Don't go too much because you don't get too way too much length in the front. This is already pretty long and we still have to cut the fringe. And the fringe tends to get a little bit longer because of the curve of the forehead. So because this curves right here, when that curves, there's extra over direction that happens uh, automatically. Um, and I want to go in and I'm actually, I'm going to cut these with a the razor anyways but want to go in and do that. Take out my other triangle, opposite triangle. I'm going to do the same thing here. Comb it up in the air. I'm going to bring this one into it. So they're all going to get cut. I'm going to use the previous as a guide. Short to long. Now, obviously I have to recomb. I went past my second knuckle. This hair is all smashed into this section, but I'm just removing a little bit of that length. And then I recomb, and now I've got it between that first and second knuckle, and we're good. Now, another thing that I like to do now that I've cut that, where's my weight? My weight's gonna be at the highest point of that haircut, so towards the front of the head, right? Because I got the weight towards the front of the head, I'm gonna over direct everything towards me and I can either point cut it to soften it a little bit, or I can go in with my blend 40, which I love this scissor, will it focus? So here you can see these massive teeth, takes out 40%, 40 to 50% of the hair. Love this for men's cutting short or short hair blending or short hair texture. But I can go right in here Leave this hair up here and then just hit it just like that. And why I made that sound effect. That's ridiculous. Just like that and pop it through. And now it gets it nice and lightweight. And then we've got our two triangles left. And I really want to have some fun and get a little creative with these triangles. So I'll keep one clipped and then the other one I'll take out. Got to have the right color combo. I went with this uh, like blueberry tone. Cause I don't like the red and the purple together. You know what I'm saying? So we go here. If we're using the uh, the gunmetal gray, then the red looks good. Agreed? Do we agree? I want this to go back off the face to go this way. So what am I going to do? I'm going to over direct it up just like this. And I'm not even going to worry about a guideline. I know it's going to freak some of you out but I don't really want to mess too much with the guideline. I can always cut into it later, but I want a specific feel to the front section here. 
So I'm going to bring this together. And I'm just going to start working. I want to go a little shorter towards this part because it's going to fall right here. I want a little bit of less length than that. And then I'm just going to go lighter towards the front. Then I'm going to bring this up in the air. Take some of that weight out. Tap it through. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the opposite side. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the opposite side. Bring this triangle over. Remember, I wanted to go a little shorter on the edge here to a little longer towards the front. Then elevate it. Tap through. Just remove some of that weight. You should see your longest point in the middle. That's the goal. I just want to take a little bit off of this stuff so here. That's some beauty of a razor. You just look at things and then you go, ah, change that a little bit. All right, blow dry. Digging this product lately. If you're looking for a new short hair product. Yeah, this one. I think it's the green one. I actually, I like it in my hair. I actually like this one in my hair too. But put it on your hands, work it through. And then I'll start usually, especially with short hair, through these kind of like fringier areas. And then I just lightly run my fingers into, it's like David Bowie. I actually just honestly thinking the same thing. I held myself back from saying it, but it does definitely have a David Bowie feel to it. Created David Bowie, I guess. I don't know. This looks like David Bowie. All right, there you go. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, and if you want to create David Bowie, you know, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you are hitting that notification bell so you see anytime I'm going live uh, right here on YouTube or Facebook. And then also, um, let me know what haircut you want to see in the comments below. We'll make that the next class. I'm always up for ideas, uh, different things that you guys want to see. But again, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, get yourself a new comb, new scissors, new tri-razor, new Evo Razor Pro, all these cool tools that we have coming out. So let me know what you want to see on the next video. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, guys, and I will see you on the next one. See you.